Hey guys, welcome back to the Joyful Investors channel. I'm sure by now, you guys have heard about this big word, Metaverse, and how Facebook has changed its name to Meta. According to Morgan Stanley, the Metaverse is the next big investment theme. So I decided to do this video today to cover what you need to know about the Metaverse as an investor. Well, you probably have already Googled the word Metaverse in an attempt to figure out what exactly it is. So let's take a look at what Google suggests. The top result we see is a definition from Wikipedia which defines Metaverse as a hypothesized iteration of the internet, supporting persistent online 3D virtual environments through conventional personal computing as well as virtual and augmented reality headsets. Metaverses, in some limited form, are already present on platforms like VR chat or video games like Second Life. Wow, I had a really hard time reading that. It's not that easy to understand, isn't it? It is really difficult to give a definition that can encompass the full meaning of Metaverse. So let me put forth some of the key attributes of Metaverse. Metaverse will be a living experience. It is one where everyone exists together and lives in real time and things exist synchronously for everyone. This experience spans both the digital and physical world. It is not here to replace our physical world, but more so as an expansion or convergence of our physical and digital worlds. Metaverse will also be a fully functioning economy where businesses and individuals can create, own, invest, sell, and be rewarded for a wide range of work that produces value. As explained by Matthew Ball, the co-founder of Ball Metaverse Research Partners, which maintains the index for the Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF. It is not just about VR or a virtual world. It is more than that, because the metaverse will not be a standalone online presence like an online virtual game. Well, I've watched this full one hour YouTube video by Meta, which is Facebook, if you're still not used to the new name. In it, it portrays how the metaverse will play out in education, in entertainment, gaming, work, commerce, and so on. And admittedly, I'm rather fascinated by how our lives may potentially change in the future. If you want to know more about their vision on how the metaverse looks like, you don't have to watch that full one hour video. You can just check out the one minute videos that Meta has. If you think all this are just dreams painted by Meta or by Mark Zuckerberg, I'm afraid not. The metaverse is no longer just a dream. Microsoft, the company which we all know for its suite of Office 365 products, is preparing to roll out Mesh for Microsoft Teams in 2022 for its Metaverse concept. Mesh for Microsoft Teams combines the mixed realities capabilities of Mesh together with the productivity tools of Teams for users to conduct virtual meetings to collaborate in immersive spaces. In fact, Microsoft has been working closely with Accenture to build a virtual campus called the End Floor, where the staff of Accenture from all around the world meet virtually, and where the onboarding of new staff took place, especially during this pandemic period. As for Meta, it announced its vision of Metaverse and even rebranded Facebook to Meta. We also know that Meta had acquired Oculus in 2014 for the Oculus VR headset, which, by the way, the acquisition has received many negative criticisms. So you may ask, who is going to win? Is it Meta or Microsoft? Well, I really don't know because I'm not a prophet. What I can say is that they are taking differentiated approaches based on their expertise. We all know Microsoft's offerings are more geared towards the enterprise side, while for Facebook, it is social, which is also what we are seeing now. Microsoft is taking the top-down approach to integrate Metaverse into their enterprise product, 
which is Microsoft Teams, for consumers to be part of the metaverse through work. But for Facebook, well, I mean Meta, they are likely to be taking the opposite approach, which is bottom-up, by bringing together all the consumers from the social perspective and encouraging consumers to leave, work, play and socialize in the metaverse. Well, to me, I think both approaches are incredible and this is not an either-or matter because what we can envision is that various big companies have to work together to contribute to the metaverse in their area of expertise. Because the metaverse concept is so huge that we definitely need to have more than just Meta or Microsoft in order for it to happen, Meta or Microsoft alone cannot build the entire metaverse. We need to have the software companies and the hardware companies. So what are some other key companies that may play an important role and profit from the metaverse? One of the companies could be Autodesk, which is a company that provides softwares for architects, engineers and construction professionals to create precise 3D drawings for their design and manufacture. This ranges from the buildings that we have to animations used in media, entertainment and gaming. So these are the softwares that could be a key element for building the metaverse. Another company could be NVIDIA to supply the massive processing power that is required to power the metaverse, we will need to have the high-end GPUs for the AI or VR applications. And in fact, NVIDIA has its own metaverse for engineers, which is called Omniverse, a virtual 3D platform that is targeted at the enterprise market for production teams to collaborate and work on 3D projects together. So that could be the leading gateway for developers of Metaverse. There are definitely more names than just this. As far as we know, many companies are eager to be part of this Metaverse, even the mouse. For those who prefer not to stop pick, there is actually an ETF that I mentioned at the start of the video called the Hill Ball Metaverse ETF, ticker META. But we do not have any meaningful data on the performance of this ETF as it was incepted only on 29 June 2021, so it's just a few months ago. Neither can we draw much insights from the charts of Meta ETF with the limited number of trading days since inception. Here are the top 10 companies with the highest component waiting for the fund, with some very familiar names that we have mentioned in this video. So while I'm excited to see what the future entails with the new way of work and play in the metaverse, I'm not going to be jumping into the companies just because they are related in one way or another to the metaverse. It would still take a number of years before we are able to see more substantial progress for the metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg has also envisioned that it would take at least 5 to 10 years before the metaverse goes mainstream. Which means that there are still many unknown factors that I cannot predict. Well, do not get me wrong. I'm not saying that the metaverse is just a dream or that it will fail. I just don't have the ability to predict future events. I always believe that as an investor, our role is not to predict which new or young growing company will dominate as the next leader in the future or which newly IPO company will make a breakthrough. Because if I have the ability to predict, then I would have used that ability to achieve something even more incredible in my life. Instead, time will tell. We prefer to invest only in the companies with a strong track record of performing well and being a market leader. Well, some people may laugh at us and say that we are losing out on the potential big gains but we are never anxious about riding on the new trends because there will always be pockets of opportunities in the markets if you understand the markets well enough. Our investing philosophy is also not about making quick gains or striking one hit wonder investments. For those who have been following us closely, you will know that we strive to attain sustainable investment returns over the long term on a good risk to reward setup. 
So to those who were hoping that I was going to tell you to buy this or that stock to make a fortune, I'm sorry you burst your bubble. In fact, some of the top 10 companies in the Meta ETF, which I showed you earlier, are not even in our current stock investing watch list yet. And for those companies which were already originally in our stock list because of the strong fundamentals that they have, we are constantly on the lookout for good opportunities to profit from them. But if you're doing trading today and not investing, then yes, you can probably tap on the momentum of this metaverse investment theme in the short term to profit from it. Well, but that's a totally different topic altogether. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now have a better understanding of the metaverse as an investor.